Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Anna. How are you guys doing? So today we're going to be going through some of my empties, things that I have used, things that I'm currently using, and things that I have finished up. And I'm going to tell you how I feel about it. So the first thing we're going to talk about are some of my fragrances that I wore this week that I grabbed. One of them is, um, I wrote down some of the notes just in case you guys were interested, is um, Billie, Billie Eilish. Eilish? I <laughs> know the name, right? It's a beautiful bottle, as you can tell. And she has two other ones that come after this. No, you can't see the perfume there, but you just take off the top and then there's your, there's your juice. Now I've had this for a while. Um, this has sugar petals, mandarin. It has warm berries, creamy vanilla, soft spices, cacao, sleek woods, warm musk, and taka beans. Taka beans. I can't even talk today. This is basically a vanilla. <laughs> With all that being said, girl, this is a vanilla. And it's a it's a warm vanilla. Um, I find that I did try to pull it out during the winter. And yeah, girl, it was no. It was a definite no during the winter. This works best for me during the summer, during the warm, um, the heat. Uh, it just works better. During the winter, I put this on. I could barely smell it. I was very unhappy with it. I even thought about getting rid of it. And um, one of the days warmed up to like 70 something degrees. And I put it on and I could actually smell it again. Um, I actually smelled it. It does not have longevity to it. It doesn't. But it's a nice scent and it's a nice layering one. Would I run out to the store and replace this? No, I wouldn't. It's not my jam. Um, I don't think it's strong enough for it to be in my collection and want to have a backup of it. But it's, it was nice. It was a nice, you know, you know, first purchase when it first came out. That's when I bought it when it first came out. The next one that I gravitated towards, I have them here. Um, I have Clinique, My Happy, and this is Lily of the Beach, right? Yeah, Lily of the Beach. I also have, I have all of them, but this is the one that I was using this week. And this one has Solar Lily, Frappini, um, a hint of coconut, vanilla, Tierra flower, sandalwood, amber, lang lang, and bergamot. Okay, this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's the kind that you want to just throw into your purse and carry it with you. And that's what I end up doing because it's just, it's that perfect size. It's not too heavy. Um, it doesn't take up too much space. Oh, it just smells so good. It screams the beach. It screams summer. And it's just such a beautiful scent, but it is short lived because I believe this is an EDT, a do, a do toilette. Um, it is not a perfume. If I am mistaken, I can't even read the bottom of it, but I just wish it lasted a whole lot longer. I really wish it did, but I absolutely love this. Um, again, Lily of the Beach by um, Clinique, my happy. I have, like I said, I have their entire line and there's another one that's like my go-to as well, but I'll share that as soon as I start grabbing it. Um, the next one is called Armarf Pride. So I was grabbing this one by Armarf. I do have a very large Armarf um, amount of Armarf perfumes in my collection. Now this one has jasmine, saffron, coriander, lemon, praline, amberwood, freesia, and cedar moss and some other little, you know, scents in between. And this is what it looks like when you, oh, it just smells so good. Uh, it smells good. I really enjoy it. I think it performs so well during the winter and the fall. Um, during the cold, it's just a perfect time to wear it during the cold seasons. So yeah, I've been grabbing this a lot. Um, I find that it might be a little bit overwhelming in the heat. So that's why she's usually tucked away for the summer. And then she jumps back out to this the end of spring into fall comes in and then during the winter. So a Marf Pride, I was rocking. Then the next one that I had used, but I use this at, at night, is the Amarf Enchanted Foilage. Um, this is just a perfume, a body spray. It is a actual body spray by Amarf. And when I say body spray, I mean body spray. Okay, look. See that? It's a short lift scent. Um, this is great for after you take a shower, you just spray yourself down and you know, you're going to smell beautiful. 
um, but it's very short lived. I like to put this on my sheets and it's like walking into a garden. This one's like walking into a garden. I have, um, I think their entire collection for this. So I usually spray it on my bed. Um, it's not overwhelming and then it just gently goes away. Um, so it helps me to have some beautiful fragrant sheets. So there you go. And that is a Marf foliage and this is a perfume body spray. Okay. Now the next one that I use this week as well was my Avon. And this is a far away. I am an Avon independent representative. Um, this is like probably my fifth bottle. <laughs> so I had a replenish. Now this one has peach, um, caro, carandy, I don't even know what that is, coconut, orange, lang lang, violet, freesia, gardenia, jasmine, amber, sandalwood, and musk with vanilla. Now this one is a very unusual scent and it's beautiful. It's not, it's not your typical scent and it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I love far away. And so, yeah, this is like one of my go-tos. I've worn these for years and years and years and years and years. So there you go. Far away. I was grabbing her this week. Then the last one that I ordered about two weeks ago is this one. Look, I still have the box. Is a mixed bar. It's from Target. I ordered it from Target. It's called Whipped Almond. Now, as you can tell, I put a little dent to her. Yes, I did. And it's exactly what it is. It's whipped almond with a vanilla, very creamy. It feels very refreshing when you put it on. Um, I don't know if they have the notes on here because I did not. Okay, notes of toasted almond, sweet milk wrapped in rich sandalwood create an elegant scent. Um, that's why, okay, that's why it feels so, it feels cozy, very warming, uh, it just reminds you of like, uh, you know, the, the feeling of when you get a home cooked meal, you know, um, those, those big stews and those things that just bring you happiness and joy and comfort. This is that kind of scent. Um, again, whipped almond. I highly recommend it. I liked it. It lasts for a good amount of time on my clothing versus my skin. So I grabbed her. I was grabbing her too. Okay, so that's the end for my perfumes that I was rocking this week. And then let's go into some of my empties here. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, so we're going to start off with, I finished up my Bath and Body Works Golden Berry Mistletoe. I know, it's like a hot mess, right? <laughs> it's very well loved and used here in this family, I tell you. Okay, this was on my sink. So there you go. We finished this one up. Would I get it again? Most definitely. Golden Berry Mistletoe. And this was the foaming from Bath and Body Works. We love this. That was really nice. And I did um, pull out the Yardley Chamomile Flower. We finished that one up. It was nice. Would I get it again? No, not necessarily. It smelled nice, um, but it wasn't anything from another world. So, but it was nice. I enjoyed it. The family enjoyed it. I actually just used the key lime pie soap from last night that I shared from a video yesterday from a company called Cut the Cut the Crap Organics. There's nothing in there that you don't need. And I found the soap to not only smell amazing, but when I used it, it left me moisturized instead of feeling dry which was very good. Okay. And then we're going to talk about, let's do face masks because I have a few in here. I have a few girl. I got a couple. Let's see. Okay. So the first one um, we're going to do, I just shared this. This is the Be Pure Hydra Foot Mask, hyaluronic with avocado and a niacinamide. Do you, should you get this? Yes. Girl. Yes. This was wonderful. I enjoyed it, but it comes in like with this one big sheet. So I had to cut it to cut them in half and it does come in this design. So this would actually be a really nice gift because it comes in that beautiful floral design right there. And then you have to cut it in the middle and then you got to, you get, there's a part where you could probably tear it off, but I just use my sister to cut the tops because it's like a footy. It's almost like a sock sock that comes all the way up to right past at the, your bone right there where your ankle is. Yeah. I don't know how to say it any better, but yeah, this worked great. Be pure. The foot mask, get it. 
Loved it. I also just did the Carnation and Vanilla Firming Sheet Mask. This had collagen, vitamins A, C, and E. I did that one. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was nice and my skin enjoyed it. Yeah, I just did this one today too. All right. Then this was a repurchase of the Juju Tangerine Sheet Mask that I got from um, Dollar Tree. All these were from Dollar Tree. All of these. This is name brand Korean Beauty. If you see it, get it. And it actually shows this right here. Yeah, that one, you'll look like a big old piece of orange, which is kind of fun. So I used a second one and yeah, I liked it. And actually my husband did one too. He did one too. So if I find some more, they're gone now. <laughs> so I have to, you know, try to find some more. Okay, then I, I did the found. Uh, this one is sensitive cucumber sheet mask. I thought it was just okay. It didn't really have a lot of fragrance. I was a little disappointed. Um, it did okay. Would I get it again? No, I wouldn't. I wasn't impressed with this one that much, um, along with the found red clay sheet mask. So I, yeah, it was like a little wah, wah, wah moment for me. There was, it was just okay. Then I had the Lily, the Lily, uh, Real Nature, and this is Korean Beauty. And this is part of the face shop. Okay. I did this one. Like I'm trying to put everything here to the side. So I don't repeat myself. And this was just okay too. It smelled nice. It wasn't overwhelming. Um, it wasn't like, oh my gosh, I got to get this again. It wasn't. Um, but it was nice. It, it was, it was, this was wah, wah, wah. But this one was just okay. So yeah, it was okay. But I wouldn't get it again. Now this is the Be Pure Under Eye Mask. And these are the ones that look like these. And when you take them off, they're like gel. They're like jelly. And you put them on and they're not going to come off until you take them off. And I found it to be very relaxing. I, I was able to clean and do what I needed to do. And they stayed on, honey. They were not going nowhere. So if you're one of those people that are like, okay, I want to do my beauty treatments, but I got things to do. You know, this is like a real thing for me. I have things to do this would work out great for you. So if you see this by Be Pure for the under eye mask, I liked it and I'd get it again. That was a good one. Um, I shared that I did this one, Exfoliating and Brightening Chocolate Face Mask. Um, I did not get any chocolate or strawberry scent at all. <laughs> Not at all. I was a little disappointed by that. And I do have some other ones sitting right here that I need to take, take to my room. Um, sometimes I do a face mask here. That's why I keep some here. Um, but I've been doing them a lot more, you know, at night while I'm sitting watching like my Netflix or something. Uh, yeah. So would I get this again? No. But was it bad? No. But you didn't get the whole experience that you would think you'd get. You know what I mean? Okay. Then, uh, okay, I shared these already. I told you how much I like these, the Juju, the Be Pure Foot one. I haven't done the hand one yet, but definitely get it if you like to do a foot mask. And um, yeah, definitely, definitely get that. It is well worth it. Now let's go through some of my wax that I've been warming. I am an independent Scentsy consultant. I never push it. I need to push it. I'm going to start doing, you know, shares on this again. I promise. And to let you know what's available, what I'm getting, I'm sharing with you what I'm getting. And I want to share with you what I have been warming. And so I've been warming the Woodland Suede. Some of these would be available and some of these are not uh, because these are from like past seasons or it could be part of my subscription um, where I get bars that have been discontinued because I love them so much. I didn't want to, you know, have sensey regret. So I put them out in my subscription box. Now, Woodland Suede. Oh, smells, <laughs> smells so good. It did so well. Um, it lasted in my warmer, I think three plus days. And I used two warmers with this in my bedroom for three plus days. And it just, it filled up all the way out here to the main hallway. You could smell it coming up the stairs. So this performed wonderfully. I really like that one. And I had two of those, two woodland suede's. That I finished up okay because I liked it so much the next one is Mediterranean Spa Mediterranean Spa 
Oh, that one smelled good too. Now, what I will say with Mediterranean Spa, this lasted for me like three days, two and a half, three days. Um, it was it was strong, but it wasn't as strong as I wanted it to be. But it still smelled really nice. I'm the kind of gal that likes my scents to be very strong. I just do. I don't like anything weak. Um, I don't see the point on getting anything weak. If you can't smell it, what's the point in getting it? But this one, when I get it again, I think I would. It just had, what I can say, it had a bottom note that I, I liked the whole thing. But there was like one note in there that I kind of like. I was like, hmm. So... I'm glad I, I think I have like two or three left of these, which I will enjoy, but I may not get it again. I'm not too sure. I got to, you know, keep going with them. This is one of my favorites and this has been <laughs> discontinued. Of course, crumb top. I had a handful of these. I think I have like three of these left and I did not sense the regret. I did not put this in my subscription box. Um, I did not. And I could just kick myself for not doing it and i am not going to be paying you know an arm and a leg for it <laughs> i'm not i won't so i hope that they will bring this back this was a bring back my bar at one point and i did not drop it into my subscription crumb top it smells so good um it's just like a bakery note it smells just like a crumb top of a pie or a cake Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay, the next one is By the Sea. Oh, I love By the Sea. Oh my gosh. And I think I'm, don't, don't quote me, but I think By the Sea is available right now. Highly, 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 highly recommend it if it's available right now. By the Sea. It's just being at the sea. It does have like a, a the aquatic note, a sea note like you're a salty sea. I'm sorry. It's like I felt something. <laughs> it's just like being at the ocean with the sea salt. It's just beautiful with the aquatic. Yes. And this one is a good one to mix too. Just heads up. Okay. Mediterranean spa again. Yeah. See, I was trying to, I was trying to go through that one. Then I have clothesline. Okay, clothesline is really good. This is a nice, clean, fresh linen scent. You cannot go wrong. Very strong. It will care. The scent will carry beautifully. And um, yeah, this lasts three or four days. Easy, easy. Clothesline, beautiful scent. Another one of my favorite. <laughs> Another one of my favorites that I didn't put in my subscription box and has been gone for a long time. And I have a handful of them and I just, you know, it's like, you don't want to touch it because you know, it's gone. And once it's gone, you, you, you warm them all up. You, that's it. It's not coming back girl. And it's with sale wonderland. Oh my gosh. This was one of my major, 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 major regrets. Not putting this in my subscription box. This was serious sensey heartache. Oh, this, this is the epitome of the perfect perfection, in my opinion, for a autumn and winter scent. This was the, it brought me so much joy warming this. It just lifted my mood and put me in such a good space. And I did not put it in my subscription. Oh my gosh, girl. <sighs> I'm trying to tell you. Okay, then we have two Aloha Orchids, or Orchids, I should say. Ah, oh, so beautiful. It's like a sweet candy floral scent. Ah, oh, this smells so good. This smells so good. I think I have, for Aloha Orchid, I think I might have maybe five left, if not less. If I'm not mistaken, I could be mistaken. But I it was so good that I just, you know, it, and it, the scent carried, it was nice and strong. It wasn't weak. And even the kids were like, oh, that smells so good because it has kind of like that sweet candy-ish scent, but not there because it's still a more of a grown-up scent because of the floral. Girl, 
Aloha Orchard. That's a good one. I just warmed this one. This is one of those that have been discontinued. And I, you know, pulled it out from my box. I have a box I'm digging into and enjoying my new scents. I just started a new one today. I did this one for three and a half days. Now I'm onto a new bar. Um, I did sparkling yellow. If they ever bring this back, <laughs> this will go into my subscription box. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so pleasant. Bright, citrus, clean. It was all the things. It was all the things. So sparkling yellow. I loved it. And I just did it this week. Literally just yesterday. I just switched it out right now. Then the last one is Pima Cotton. Pima Cotton. Again, fresh, clean linen. Can't go wrong if you're a fresh, clean linen, super simple gal. You don't want a bunch of florals. You don't want your tropicals. You don't want bakery notes. You don't want to have nothing else except a fresh, clean, like laundry scent. Yeah. Pima cotton or clothesline will, will do you. But that is everything. I think I covered everything. I didn't bring the coffee that I finished over here. Dang, I left it. Okay, well, I'll do another one for this coming week and show you what my empties are, what kind of perfumes I've been rocking and gravitating towards during the week, and anything else that I end up using. Um, thank you so much for coming by. I appreciate you being here. And go check out my, my Sensi. I'll put the link down below if you want to go check out some of the sales right now. They have a lot of really good sales, and they got a bunch of brand new scents out, okay? I have a big order heading my way. So I hope to see you then. Bye.